People are finding curious things often, sometimes underwater, sometimes in the jungle. One of the more common places that folks stumble across curious things are deep under the Earth's surface. These are the 20 most amazing things found buried underground. Number 20. Franklin Expedition Cemetery the Lost Franklin Expedition was an unsuccessful voyage of British exploration of the Arctic, led by Captain Sir John Franklin, which set out from England in 1845. Franklin was a Royal Navy officer and experienced explorer who had previously participated in three expeditions to the Arctic, the last two as commander-in-chief. His fourth and last expedition began when he was already 59 years old, with the objective of traversing and exploring the last stretch of the Northwest Passage still unexplored. Franklin and all 128 crew members died when their ships became trapped in ice in Victoria Strait near King William Island in the Canadian Arctic. Fast forward to 1989 and the great-great-nephew of one of the sailors called John Hartnell, Brian Spensley, decided to go look for his ancestor's grave. What scientists found inside this coffin shocked the whole world. As he approached Beachy Island off the coast of Nunavut lay three of the graves where the sailors of the expedition are buried, including Captain Sir John Franklin. And when they started digging through the ice, they found the bodies had not decomposed. They were still dressed with the skin and hair and teeth and even eyeballs intact. Imagine seeing in the flesh your great great uncle's corpse grinning back at you 144 years after he passed away. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. What scientists found inside this place shocked the whole world. The scientists stumbled upon this rare archaeological find in Asia. As you can see, it's some kind of epic tomb with many corpses in it. They look peaceful, but it's hard to know if they died like this or whether they were just posed. Sadly, probably the latter. Just why was this tomb here, and who were these people? We may never know. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the Hashtag odd topic. Number 19. California couple finds $10 million in gold coins buried in yard. This Northern Californian couple can count themselves lucky. They stumbled upon a modern-day bonanza while they were walking their dog on their gold country property. The bounty consisted of extremely rare gold coins in mint condition that were buried in the shadow of an old tree. There were 1,427 coins, to be precise, all dating from 1847 to 1894 and uncirculated. Even if the face value of the coins only adds up to about $27,000, some of the pieces are so incredibly rare that coin experts say they could fetch almost a million bucks a piece. If there was ever a once in a lifetime for anything, this would be a perfect example of it. Talk about finding a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. They literally spotted the edge of an old can on the side of their path, the same path where they have hiked many times before, only to become instant multi-millionaires. The treasure was most likely someone's private coins, likely created in revenge for the assassination of Lincoln. Not much is known about the lucky couple, except they are married, middle-aged, and had been living at the property for several years prior to this amazing discovery. They are choosing to remain anonymous. Honestly, who can blame them? Nobody wants a renewed gold rush phenomenon on their property, right? Number 18. Three ancient Roman shipwrecks found buried in Serbia. Coal miners in Serbia have recently unearthed an unexpected surprise. Three likely Roman-era ships buried in the mud of an ancient riverbed for at least 1,300 years. The largest is a 15-meter-long, flat-bottomed riverboat, which appears to have been built using ancient Roman techniques. The other two smaller boats that were each carved from a single tree trunk also match the ancient descriptions of pirate boats used by Slavic groups to row across the Danube River to attack the Roman border. The ships were located near the ancient Roman city of Viminatium, which was once the capital of the province and the base of a squadron of Roman warships on the Danube River. Back when the Roman Empire ruled most of southern Europe, the Danube, or one of its largest branches, flowed through the land the mine now occupies. The three ships laid for centuries on a 15-meter deep layer of gravel buried under 7 meters of silt and clay. This is probably what kept them protected from the elements. They are all three in a remarkably good condition, at least until the mining team 
team excavated on the steep slope towards the mine. Now, unfortunately, the ship was seriously damaged by the mining equipment, according to archaeologist Miamir Korek, director of the Archaeological Institute and head of the Viminatium Science Project. Apparently, approximately 35 to 40 percent of the ship was damaged. Number 17. Cave Digging Artist Finds Inspiration Underground Rob Paulette is a one-of-a-kind sculptor. His specialty isn't precisely sculptures, though, but fascinating subterranean temples carved out with only hand tools. Paulette works in the sandstone of New Mexico. Little by little, this artist excavates different rooms and decorates the walls with whimsical, organic-looking shapes. His latest project is called Luminous Caves, and it's a large complex in which light illuminates the underground rooms through openings excavated by himself. Paulette has created numerous cave sculptures, and he has a process that he follows almost religiously, which he refers to as the dance of excavation. He calls it that because his job is to feel the most efficient way to carve the walls so they look beautiful, yet still remaining quite sturdy. In the past, when Paulette was commissioned to create caves in the region, his ideas were almost always cut off due to artistic differences, so he decided to renounce any kind of paycheck and go to work for himself, creating what he calls his magnum opus, thus finally unleashing his creativity. The cave is only one part of the whole masterpiece. He creates social art, which strives for social change. Paulette is a fascinating and insightful man with a lot of great messages to share with the world. He hopes that his creation will help bring about some social change in terms of bringing together the different cultures that live throughout the beautiful landscapes of New Mexico. Number 16. Daring Kuyu Underground City in Ancient Cappadocia, Turkey Darren Kuyu is the largest underground city in the world. It's located in the province of Cappadocia, Turkey, and has a depth of 75 meters. The sprawling complex consists of a labyrinth of tunnels and chambers covering an area of 445 kilometers squared and used to house around 20,000 inhabitants. It was discovered in the 1960s when a man that was renovating his house made one of the most amazing archaeological discoveries in history. Needless to say, it was something of a surprise for him. By breaking down a wall of his basement, he found himself with more space than he expected. He had discovered a gallery that led to a whopping 18-story deep underground city that we now know as Darren Kuyu. The first level of this amazing city was most likely excavated by the Hittites around 1400 BC. Archaeologists began to study this fascinating structure. They managed to reach a depth of 40 meters, although it's believed that it has a bottom of up to 85 meters. Currently, 20 underground levels have been discovered. One of the most interesting details is that Darren Kuyu underwent dramatic changes throughout its history, especially in the Byzantine era, in which considerable stone doors were added to close it from the inside to prevent outside access, a detail indicating the knowledge of the city by the persecutors and possible invasion attempts. Number 15. Mummified Cats and Scarabs Found in Newly Discovered Egypt Tombs Archaeologists have discovered seven pharaonic-era tombs containing mummified cats. The discovery took place in a rocky area surrounding Userkaf's funerary complex in the Saqqara necropolis near Cairo, according to the Minister of Antiquities Khaled El Anani. A hundred gilded wooden statues and a bronze sculpture representing the feline goddess Bastet, considered a protector against evil and revered as a goddess of fertility, were also found. In addition, Elanani added that the discovery includes mummified beetles, the first to be found in this area. In ancient Egypt, about 4,000 years ago, cats were domestic animals in the homes of the wealthiest and were also exported. Animals in general played an important role in honoring the gods, and researchers believe that tens of millions of animals were mummified. They also found a collection of gilded wooden statues representing a lion, a cow, and a falcon. Scarabs also had a religious significance and could symbolize the sun god, Ra. Humans were mummified to preserve their bodies for the afterlife, while animals were mummified as religious offerings. In addition, wooden snake-printed sarcophagi containing mummies were also recovered, as well as two wooden crocodile sarcophagi and hundreds of amulets dedicated to various gods. Number 14. Secret Megalopolis of Ants Uncovered a True Wonder of the World 
When you put your feet on top of an anthill, do you know that your weight rests on a city-state the size of a human megapolis? Did you know that its structural complexity rivals that of our most populous cities? Many researchers comment that anthills behave like superorganisms. In this amazing video, you can admire the unearthing of an abandoned colony of ants in Brazil. The excavation lasted weeks, and it revealed a gigantic citadel containing roads, paths, and underground gardens. The only human equivalent of this construction would be the Great Wall of China. It's believed that this wonderful underground city housed one of the largest colonies in the world. However, the time and reason that made the ants leave the site is unknown. The experts had to pour 10 tons of concrete into the little holes in the surface, which actually served as air conditioning ducts for the ants to be able to expose the intricate systems of tunnels solidifying them. They discovered that the megalopolis covered an area of 500 square feet and extended to 26 feet below the surface. You can clearly see the high level of organization that these creatures had while they were carrying out the Herculean task of building an entire underground empire. The network was carefully designed to provide good ventilation in combination with the shortest transport routes. It's not for nothing that ants are known to be the second most complex societies on Earth, only rivaled by our own. Number 13. Tutankhamun's Tomb Tomb KV-62, located in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt, is an Egyptian royal tomb containing the mummy of Tutankhamun. It was discovered in 1922 by Howard Carter under the remains of workers' dwellings from the Ramesside period, which saved it from the looting of that period. The tomb consists of four rooms and was full of objects, but in disorder. Due to its condition and Carter's meticulous method of study, it took eight years to empty it and move everything they found, more than 5,000 pieces, including the solid gold Tutankhamun funerary mask. It's it's often said that Tutankhamun's tomb was never looted, but this is not accurate. In fact, it was looted at least twice not long after the burial, and there is evidence that the sealed doors were breached in the upper corners, which was sealed again later. It has been estimated that 60% of the jewels deposited in the so-called treasury were stolen, and that the officials of the necropolis packed those that were saved hastily. The outer doors of the chapels, which included the hierarchical coffins of the king, were left open and unsealed. Number 12. Dinosaur fossils found in Argentina could be from the largest creature to have ever walked the Earth. Until recently, it was believed that the Patago Titan was the largest dinosaur unearthed to date, but the recent work of a group of scientists from the National Council for Scientific and Technical Research of Argentina have revealed a fascinating find. These are the fossils of a giant titanosaur belonging to the sauropod family, which were found in Sierra Chata, north of the town of Aniello in the province of Neoken. The giant titanosaurs had very high necks and very long tails. It's estimated that they could have measured up to 20 or 25 meters and weighed more than 40 tons. Some estimations go as far as 100 tons. They had legs in the form of pillars and lived in the Cretaceous period, with a marked presence in South America, especially in Argentine Patagonia, about 100 million years ago. From the fossils of this herbivorous dinosaur, vertebrae and some pelvic bones of the giant can be distinguished. Even though the rest of the skeleton was exhumed, this is important enough evidence to speculate on the original dimensions of the animal. According to scientists, these bone remains break the barrier of the records that were held so far in the evolution of the gigantism of sauropods. Number 11. Plane of Jars this is a historical cultural complex in northern Laos that concentrates thousands of stone, jar-shaped vessels scattered throughout the Jiankuang Plateau in the highlands of northern Laos. Archaeologists believe that these stone vessels were created 1,500 to 2,000 years ago by the ancient inhabitants of the region, whose culture and way of life is unknown. Most of the excavated material dates from 500 to 800 BC. Anthropologists and archaeologists have theorized that they could have been used as burial vessels or funerary urns, or even as containers to store food. Local legends speak of a race of giants whose king, Kun Chang, was a great warrior who, after a singular combat, managed to win an important battle, and to commemorate him, he had thousands of huge stone jars made to store large quantities of Lao Lao, a typical rice liquor, with which to invite his vassals in the endless feast. The first European to study them was the French archaeologist Madeleine Colani, who discovered them for the West in 1930. In the course of the excavations, human bones were found in a cave in the extensive moorland, some of them calcined, and ashes, hence the theory of possible funerary use. During the Vietnam War, an American bomb damaged the cave used by the Pathet Lao as a refuge. Number 10. Ancient Egypt 
Cheese discovered in 3,200-year-old tomb. In 2010, the tomb of Patoms was uncovered after spending more than a century hidden. It had been found for the first time in 1885, but was covered again by desert sand more than a century later. The mortuary monument of this high-ranking Egyptian official kept a secret that years later has come to light. Archaeologists cleaning the tomb found several broken jars, one of which appeared to contain a substance inside. Being totally solidified, the scientists took samples to analyze them in the laboratory, and the results have been, to say the least, surprising. It is cheese. Undoubtedly, it is one of the oldest food items found to date in the world. Apparently, the archaeologists suspected that it was food due to the method of conservation and the position in which the substance was found, but they didn't discover it until they carried out several tests. However, the surprises about this finding do not end there. It turned out the solidified milk also contains a very dangerous bacterium, the Brucella melitensis, which causes brucellosis. This bacterium is associated with infectious diseases that are transmitted from animals to humans through the ingestion of unpasteurized dairy products. Number 9. Nearly complete mammoth skeleton found in Michigan soy farm. James Bristle was digging in a soybean field he owned with a friend in southern Michigan, USA, when they unearthed what looks like a bent fence covered in mud. As it turns out, it wasn't a fence at all, but parts of the pelvis of an ancient woolly mammoth that lived about 15,000 years ago. A team of paleontologists from the University of Michigan, aided by an excavator, recovered approximately 20% of the mammoth skeleton in the town of Lima Township in Washtenaw County. Apart from the pelvis, they found the skull and two tusks, as well as several vertebrae, ribs, and the two shoulder blades. Now, researchers think there were humans here, and maybe they butchered and stored the meat so they could collect it later. Three basketball-sized rocks found next to the remains may have been used to anchor the mammoth carcass in a pond. Mammoths and mastodons, another elephant-like creature, inhabited North America before they disappeared about 11,700 years ago. The remains of about 300 mastodons and 30 mammoths have been found in Michigan. However, the mammoth remains at Bristle Field are more complete than most found elsewhere. Number 8. Assyrian Artifacts Discovered in Abandoned Isis Tunnels ISIS extremists take pride in destroying ancient shrines and antiquities. They actually enjoy doing it so much that they even post videos of their vandalism on social media. For some reason, they want the whole world to know they're destroying their own past. Ironically, though, they have inadvertently discovered a treasure trove of ancient statues and inscriptions. The items discovered date back to the time of the Assyrians, which was a major ancient Mesopotamian civilization that existed as a city-state from the 21st century BC to the 14th century BC and then as a territorial state and eventually an empire from the 14th century BC to the 7th century BC. They were allegedly digging tunnels in eastern Mosul, Iraq's second largest city. They were found under the shrine of Nabi Yunus, which is Arabic for Prophet Jonah. Authorities deem safest to extract the antiquities, but seeing as the tunnels are prone to cave-ins and collapses, the project will be quite dangerous. This is an important find, as when ISIS took Mosul, they completely destroyed its museum and everything in it. This gives the Iraqi people a a sense of retribution in a way. Number 7. Pharaoh Ramses II Statue Unearthed in Cairo Egyptian and German archaeologists have discovered fragments of a huge effigy of Ramses II, one of the most powerful pharaohs of the 19th dynasty, in a muddy pit in Cairo, Egypt's capital city. The discovery took place in the working-class district of Mataraya and immediately began the extraction of the remains of the pharaonic statue, which dates back more than 3,000 years and was made of quartzite, a hard stone composed mainly of quartz grains. The torso, parts of the head, crown, and eyes have been unearthed from the mud, although the extraction drew strong criticism in the Egyptian media as the authorities used a heavy construction excavator that could damage the ancient statue. Mahmoud Afifi, head of the country's antiquities ministry, explained that such machinery was only used to remove the head since it was the heaviest part, but that wooden and cork bars were placed to guarantee that the pieces were not damaged. The statue was found in a courtyard near the ruins of the temple dedicated to the sun founded by Ramses II, better known as Ramses the Great, who ruled Egypt for about 68 years and was one of the longest ruling pharaohs, as it's believed that he lived up to 90 years of age. His reign, which lasted from 1279 to 1213 BC, marked the last peak of Egypt's imperial power. Number 6. Man Finds Complete World War II Air Raid Shelter Beneath His Luton Driveway 
Simon Mark, a 37-year-old Luton resident, saw himself in the headlines around the world because of something he found in his driveway. It all started one day he thought he had driven onto the flower bed when the wheels of his black Vauxhall Zafira got stuck in a mysterious hole outside his home. He called his father, Gerald, to come and help him figure out what was going on. As they started clearing out the mud and dirt, they realized they were standing on the entrance of a World War II air raid shelter. In fact, the entire house was actually built on top of it. They continued clearing out the mud, but the shelter was a lot bigger than they had anticipated. His 400,000-pound house was, in fact, covering a two-roomed air raid shelter. What at first looked like a sinkhole turned out to be a historical site. After this event occurred, they took to Google for some more info and found out that there were quite a few shelters in the area. The one under his driveway is in immaculate condition. He thinks the previous owners decided to build a shelter after a German bomb landed a bit too close to the house for comfort. And who could blame him, right? Number 5. Ancient Whale Fossils Found in the Desert in Whale Valley, Wadi El Hitan, Egypt the Valley of the Whales is a region of Fayum Governorate in the western desert of Egypt that contains important fossil remains of the ancestors of modern cetaceans. It was included in the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in July 2005. These paleontological remains represent one of the main records in the history of the evolution of species, the transformation of a terrestrial animal into an aquatic one suffered by the whales. The valley is the most important site in the world to demonstrate such an evolutionary process. The way of life of these mammals during their evolution is accurately portrayed. The site shows us a whole variety of fossils that lived more than 30 million years ago. One of the first fossils that we come across when entering Wadi El Hitan is that of a Darudon, a small primitive cetacean that was 5 meters long. These were halfway between the terrestrial ancestors and the current cetaceans, although they were totally aquatic. Another cetacean of enormous dimensions and well represented in the area is the Basilosaurus, which reached 20 meters in length. This one did not have a baleen like the current whales, but a well developed jaw composed of 44 teeth, the front ones conical and the rear ones pointed so that it could catch and take tear its prey. Number 4. Qin Shi Huang's Tomb Historic records say it's the richest tomb of all time. They say inside it there are palaces filled with treasures. Qin was the first emperor of China. He ascended to the throne when he was only 13 years old. Immediately, he began building his mysterious tomb. It took 38 years and 700,000 workers to complete it. Emperor Qin's underground mausoleum was discovered in 1974 by five brothers. Guarding the actual tomb were 7,000 terracotta warriors to protect their master for all eternity. And at the gates of the chamber, traps were made that would fire arrows to anyone who dared to enter. With such a display of aggression, would you still go inside? The five brothers did, but they would soon regret it. They started feeling some discomfort at the site, and after the excavation, they all, sooner rather than later, suffered an untimely death. In the Terracotta Warriors Chamber, there's a simulation of the two rivers of China, but it's believed that what ran through them wasn't water, but liquid mercury, which would have killed anyone who stepped foot in there. And if not kill, it would at least drive them mad forever. The doors to the tomb where the Emperor's remains are has yet to ever be opened. Nobody knows what could be behind them. Chinese authorities refuse to open them as a sign of respect for the Emperor. Number 3. Staffordshire Gold Hoard the Anglo-Saxon treasure found underground in a field in Staffordshire is believed to be, according to experts, the new crown jewel of archaeology in the British Isles. It consists of 1,500 pieces of gold and silver that, in the absence of definitive analysis, would date from the 7th century of our era. The discovery is due to Terry Herbert, one of the amateurs who looks for treasures with a metal detector. The one he found in a friend's orchard weighs around 5 kilos. These are military objects, sword pommels and hilts, gold plates set with precious stones. Until now, the largest known Anglo-Saxon treasure was the Sutton Hoo, weighing one and a half kilos, found in 1939 near Suffolk. Apparently, all the archaeologists who have worked with the treasure have been stunned. The truth is, it's been quite terrifying to work with these items. To be in the presence of such greatness is sometimes quite intimidating. Terry Herbert has been searching for objects for 18 years using metal detectors. He was speechless upon finding hundreds of gold pieces. This discovery takes us back to little-known times in the history of England, the period of time that runs dark between the fall of the Roman Empire and the Anglo-Saxon heyday. Number 2. 
The Lost Bones of Richard III The remains of King Richard III, who died in 1485, were found under an open-air parking lot in the British city of Leicester, a discovery that his followers say will inspire new research into the history of the character, who died defeated, humiliated, and hated. Researchers from the University of Leicester said tests on the battle-damaged skeletons prove it to be that of the monarch, who died at the Battle of Bosworth Field in 1485 and whose remains were missing for centuries. The Plantagenets were a royal dynasty whose hot-tempered kings conquered Wales, fought battles with France, and helped transform England into a flourishing medieval empire. The last of that dynasty, Richard III, was also the last English monarch to die in battle. Immortalized by William Shakespeare as a stooped usurper who left behind a trail of corpses, including those of his two nephews murdered in the Tower of London on his way to the throne. Just trying to see if he's got. The DNA tests to which the skeleton was subjected are the same as those of a sample taken from a distant relative of a sister of King Richard III, who's still alive. Turi King, a specialist in genetics, said that Michael Ibsen, a carpenter who lives in London, shares a rare segment of mitochondrial DNA with the skeleton. King said that combined with the archaeological evidence, this leaves little doubt that the skeleton is that of Richard III. Number 1. Secret Tunnel Chambers Under the Sphinx, Egypt Hermes Trismegistus was an ancient Egyptian moon god, and he reported on a library of knowledge in his mystical works. He said that there was a maze below the paws of the magnificent Sphinx that led to a huge library called the Hall of Records. Legend has it that inside that library was stored all the essential knowledge of alchemy, astronomy, mathematics, magic, and medicine. However, to this date, nobody has ever been able to find it. Is the library of knowledge a myth, or is it reality? The burial chambers in the Pyramid of Saqqara bear testimony to the fact that ancient pharaohs were given knowledge to take with them to the afterlife. Could the library be where they stored it until it was needed? We simply don't know, as nobody has ever found it, although many tried and still are trying today. In the modern era, an American faith healer named Edgar Cayce also told of the prophecy of the library. While in a state of trance, he spoke of the Hall of Records, where all the knowledge from ancient civilizations was kept safe. Casey believed that he was the reincarnation of a high priest who lived in the lost city of Atlantis, and he claimed to have been at the library in his past life. He wrote that there's a secret passageway that parts from the right paw of the Sphinx, leading to the underground chamber. I don't know about you, but I had no idea that the world still had so many fascinating secrets hidden away. It's mind-boggling to wonder what else we're going to discover in the future. What would you like to be the next big find? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!